because it's the biggest piece of timber and it's light but strong. If you use hardwood, it's going to be strong but it's heavy, all right, or heavier. Pick this one up behind you there, Sam. So this, if you guys want to make a single piece paddle, this is more of a traditional style. Um, it's one piece of timber, so this can now be shaped into a single piece of a single paddle with just a few little lugs at the end that would help out with the grip. This is also a beautiful option, but you need one outstanding piece of timber to conceal this lovely grain all going the same way. So that's cool as well. So you've got two sets of measurements. If you want to make a single piece paddle like this, your timber has to be at least 200 wide, 200 millimetres wide. It needs to be minimum 35 mil thick. And the height needs to be, these are your three key measurements, your chin or more. Okay? And that's it. There's your three key measurements for a single piece paddle. Now this can be a piece of hardwood as well, as long as it's got no knots, lovely straight grain, and you think it's going to be able to be whittled down. And if, and if you're not quite sure, bring it in anyway. Next week's test week. If you want to make a five piece paddle like that one, two bits of blade, paddle shaft, two bits of handle, I'm going to give you the measurements. Um, this one's a seven piece paddle, this one's a nine, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. This is a fifteen piece paddle, it's kind of taking piss a bit, you know, but you don't need, so this one here that I'm, I'm almost done with, that's a one, two, three, four, five, this will be a seven piece paddle. So if you want to make a seven piece or a five piece paddle, these are your dimensions. You need for your paddle shaft Chin height, again, that's your height of your longest piece of timber, and it needs to be 35 by 35 square, which looks roughly like that white piece there, which is an old piece of, what have I said there? Old window frame. This is all found on hard rubbish, by the way, and that can be whittled down to, to look like this. Um, I will supply the glue. The shed supplies this beautiful glue, this modern new age glue. That's why this is more traditional. And this is more modern because glues weren't around then or resins of, and, and saps of trees weren't quite as good as our modern glues, which they say is as good as the grain itself. So this is just glued. It's not biscuit joined or doweled or anything. That's just glued and clamped. I have lots of clamps here that I will lend you folks and we can do a lot of the gluing and, and clamping here. But if you have big G-style clamps that can come together and they're cheapest ships in Bunning now, like six bucks a piece, uh, so if you wanted to buy them with your leader pair and then you've got them down the path for... Oh, they're quite handy they're, and they're quite cheap these days. I can show you what they are next week before you buy them. So just concentrate on this next week on buying wood. Okay, back to our, our five or seven piece paddle. 35 by 35 is your paddle shaft. Straight grain, no knots, lovely piece of timber. Your blades, you can come in one or two pieces. You want to you wanna book match. It's called book matching when you put the same on one side as the other because you want it to be balanced. So if you want to just bring in one section of timber, it's going to be 200 wide by 35 deep by 600 long. Can you repeat them again? Sure. So your blades or blader is going to be 200 by 600 by 35. So it looks exactly like that. That's cut down the middle. Does that make sense to everyone? Yeah, so you just cut that 200 piece into two bits and you've got two blades. If you want to be fancy, you can get multiple sections of blade that you can just keep laminating onto the side. That's totally cool as well. The, the handles, don't worry about the handles. I've got so many millions of offcuts. I'll happily give you some. And that's, that's where you really show off. This is where you put on your handle um, something really personal to you. Like it might be a piece of rosewood or walnut or apple tree at home or something that needs to be dried but something that's a really exotic piece of hardwood, like a nut tree or a eucalyptus or something. These softwoods are usually your pine trees and all the other stuff that you've associated a softwood with. Everyone cool with that? Um, so photos are really key. I've got some key readings on, I just put this on Moodle, which is a piece I wrote on um, paddle making, particularly with you guys in mind. So that kind of frames why we're doing it and what we're doing. This is a Bible I found to making paddles and it's got all the designs and things in the back. So this is just going to live in the shed for the next couple of months and you guys just come in with your phone and take heaps of photos of the bits that matter to you, if that, if that suits you, rather than me having to digitise <laughs> the whole thing. 
This week, I'm very excited. I'm finally just going to bloody do it. I've been sick of asking you whether I can or not. <laughs> the higher ups. I'm going to clear out one of the bays down there and make a workshop. So we're just going to go for it. We're going to make shit. So um, from next week on, I'm going to allow just a little bit of time in each of our tutorials, maybe half an hour to glue and to rip cut. I've got my big table saw here, size of a small car, and I can make all those lovely cuts to make all your timber the same thicknesses so that you can then start to whittle it down. Any questions? I'm ha I will happily take the stupidest questions for the next week or two on what sort of timber I should buy, but you need to really take on the mantle of exploring it. There's so much info online and a lot of crap, but you'll figure it out. You've just got to spend half an hour wasting a bit of time and, and figuring it out. But I have got some good links on Moodle and there are a million sites on how to make paddles and we'd love you to go down the Murray with your very own piece of, of, of hard rubbish. That would be awesome. The better the story and the, the less you pay for it, only use Bunnings as your very last resort. Uh, and remember, I've got lots of scraps and things here too for your handles and even some blades. So your paddle shaft is your big key piece of kit. So next week, folks, you are going to do a couple of readings and you're going to bring in a cool recipe to share with your other eight or nine people and, and we're going to start making our paddle. Sound right? Are you excited about it? Yeah. I'm bloody excited. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be here for another five minutes. It's Poncho's birthday. You see him in the hallway. So happy 53rd. I'm going to go buy him some beers. So um, otherwise, I'm going to stick around for five minutes if you've got any questions. Otherwise, have a great Tuesday, and I'll see you next week. No worries. Uh, same sort of timber. So that's why I said just get one piece.